Whew. Okay, so here I am again with all my chainsaw carving equipment, my Forerunner truck. <laughs> so today, well, the next few days here is going to be a real challenge carving for me. But I know I'll do it. This is basically one challenge for me. I'll show you. It's going to be on this stump. That's my speak Bluetooth speaker on there. But he wants like a throne chair on it, on this piece of cedar, western red cedar, and he wants to look this way so he's gonna clear all this stuff up so he can see the sunrise and watch his kids play he just wants a nice chair like a throne so I'm gonna uh, set the I got my tripod set up down there I'm gonna set the camera up so you can actually and I'm gonna stand in front of this log so you can see stump so you can actually see how big it is so I can stand by it because it's hard to tell on uh, just by the camera picture, right? So hold on a sec. Okay, so I got the camera on the phone on that. I fil film with my phone, guys. I got the top of the line Samsung. But anyways, I'm gonna stand by the tree so you can see the size of it. Okay, so. It's pretty wide. And uh, this tree was, let me point the screen here. This tree was falling over and he's got a bridge there, right? He's got a nice creek down here. So he didn't want it to, and he's got a little walk bridge there. He didn't want the tree to fall over and thrash. It would hit, probably would have hit the road over there. This is in Surrey, British Columbia. So I want to show you guys what my challenge is. <clears throat> So like I said, he wants to make this into a seat. So somehow, oh boy, this is where the tree cracked, right? It was, it was leaning so much that way, it cracked right here and started leaning more and it was ready to go over so we got arbors to come in and chop it down. But you can see all the center of the tree, that big rot spot. So I gotta figure out how I'm gonna make a seat without a hole in it. I might have to put a big huge wedge in there. I might have to make a, make a fresh seat of cedar and dowel it in or something to cover this hole. Because I don't know, this hole when it goes down, okay? So when it goes down, I don't know if it's gonna go like this inside or if it's gonna give me more wood. So, but anyways, I'll get a tape measure and measure how wide this is across. Okay, so I got the tape measure out. This thing is like uh, three foot. But when I get down to where I'm carving, it will be about four foot. Let's see how wide it is. Well, whatever. Yeah, it's over four foot. So I guess got to start drawing stuff on and uh, plan it out. I'll send you guys, I'll show you, I'll show you a picture of like a little sketch I did last night just to kind of get an idea of what's going to happen with this chair. It's going to be an eagle head on one side or maybe both sides, I think, if he wants that. We'll just see how it goes, right? That's all you can do. Progress, guys. Challenge yourself. You know, one thing, I'm glad I got my ripping saw here with the ripping chain because i got to rip all this wood down this way. But he wants it to be, like, higher than his top of his head, so there's lots of ripping to do. But with these cracks in here, all in here, it'll be easier to block it out, right? I just cut up to here. And take that section out so I can take it out in sections which that's good because I don't have a big enough saw to cut all the way one cut right so okay guys so I got my cut lines uh, drawn on and what I'm gonna do is start cutting this out I'm not gonna be filming too much curve doing this it'll just bore the hell out of you guys so it's wood curving and I'll be using lots of my map man tools too on this uh, when I get into the carving part okay so I got one piece taken out Oh boy. Now I'm gonna cut this big sucker out here. Man, I'm out of shape. Oh god, I'm out of shape. No, I didn't use the man's name in vain. I meant to say, oh dog.
Okay, so I got this part out here. There's a big chunk there. That's probably like 200 pounds, I think. This stuff's soaking wet. So, you can see by my shoe size how big of the area is. This is all rotten here. So now what I need to do is cut all this back. And kind of give it a little bit of a slope. That's just the backing. This will just be the backing and I'm gonna have eagle head handrails there maybe. Then I gotta make, then I gotta carve out the seat, right? I gotta car carve that lower. And maybe a step up to it too or something. A lot of work, boys and girls. Oh boy, I'm gonna be sore tonight. Okay, so I've been at it for about three and a half hours. Oh, am I ever tired? So friggin' out of shape, but that's my problem, nobody else's. Okay, so that will be his back piece, okay? I still have to carve the seat in. See? How big it? Like three people could stand in here right now. I still gotta carve the seat in and then carve, like, so the seat will be here, sit there, and then carve all this out too, right? Excuse me, maybe have a stair here. But the problem I'm gonna face is this rot. It's gonna be right where the seat is. So I'm gonna to have to kind of figure, uh, cut that out and dowel it in or something. I'm not too sure how I'm gonna do it. But let me put you, let me put this on the tripod, my phone on the tripod so you guys can see how big it is actually. So you can see the size of it. So like a piece like this, I'm definitely not in any rush to do it. That's for sure. And uh, this wood is soaking wet. And it's heavy. So you can see like, how big the blocks were that I took out and had to throw them, right? The size of this one. So, Good news guys, hopefully, if everything turns out good, I'm gonna carve a monster wood spirit on here so people can see it when they're, the road's there, so they can get a glimpse of it when they're walking by. Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, we'll talk to you all later. No sense rushing this guys, like I'm tired. That's enough for today. Go home, rest, come back tomorrow, cut the seed in. That will probably be enough for tomorrow too. Hope everybody's good. And uh, thanks to the new members for the support. And thanks everybody for the support.